Hello and welcome to my channel. I want to just um, say thank you to Pinet, Pinet team, because they asked me to make a, a video uh, about Pinet in English, because on my channel most of videos are in Italian. So, <coughs> sorry, so basically, um, Pinet, uh, it works like this. Once you download a VM, you will have an IP address here. So mine uh, IP in this case is 192, 192 168 0 This is because you have a uh, few options here. So by default uh, VMware is nutted. Then uh, you will get an IP like 192.168. for example 127. Uh, something. Now, you can uh, use your local network for uh, several reasons. So, for do that, you just click here on the, the bottom right and then uh, settings. At this point, you can choose what you have to, what you want. For example, NAT as by default. Bridge and uh, replicate the physical network connection state, it will give you the your actually address, your local address. So this one, the reason for do that is, for example, there is a video on my channel, it's called uh, Riverbed and uh, Palo Alto, and uh, we built a VPN uh, from my computer to another computer located in Bergamo, it's uh, north of Italy, and uh, for do that, of course, you need to have your local uh, IP address pl plus uh, port, uh, NAT port forwarding, then we can establish the VPN. So, once uh, you decide what you want to do, you just go to your, uh, uh, of course, IP, in this case, uh, as I said, mine is 192.168.0, 218 and uh, your address uh, well in my case is a bit different because I'm uh, I'm using uh, pinet lab online so it works even uh, offline you put the verification code and go now just uh, a quick overview on what you can do and what uh, you can't do well I don't know what you can do because honestly you can do lots of things. First of all, of course, the first time you run your machine, it's empty. I mean, there is no uh, firewall image, uh, picture, or whatever. It's empty. So, close this lab. Uh, for make new lab, of course, you click here and, uh, of course, name, add, and play. Now, if you want, you can go here on top and uh, click devices then uh, you have a uh, several option here so you can uh, get uh, wireshark chrome or ubuntu server ubuntu desktop ansible cisco nso uh, checkpoint and palo alto firewall for do that it's very simple just uh, get device and the uh, installation it will be done by uh, Pinet Lab, so you have nothing to do. About switch and firewall. About switch and firewall, you have uh, some free labs, or, well, some, you have lots of labs. If you click here, top right, go to store, it's very simple. Um, for example, uh, switches or firewall. So if you want a switch, you just click, for example, to CCNA, and uh, you can choose a lab, layer 2. Layer 2 lab, you need to find something like, for example, uh, something uh, like VLAN or stuff like this. So, troubleshoot, troubleshoot Ethernet channel is fine as well. You just click here, you just click on uh, download lab, and magic palo alto um, sorry uh, pnet will download everything for you in this case this this switch uh, you see 
L2 Advanced Enterprise, etc., etc. Just download and that's all. You have Lab and Image. Same things for uh, the firewall. For example, you want uh, uh, ASA Cisco? No problem. You need to click, you need just here, you need to pay a bit of attention because sometimes you have two versions ASA and ASA V. So, for example, if you take this one, Cisco ASA, ASA. So, download lab, even in this case, and uh, this is the image of uh, Cisco. You got the layer 2. Uh, sorry, layer 3 switch or router and layer 2 switch. So, at this point, uh, <coughs> your lab is set, you have some images you can play. Uh, what about uh, Docker Station? Open this lab. Open, open. Or oh, Docker Station, just you need to pay attention. I'll show you the image and Docker Station and uh, that's all. So by clicking the right click on the mice, just go to node and for example you see my cell, my pinet lab have two images Cisco ASA and Cisco ASAV. V is per virtual of course. Cisco IOL, Cisco IOS, etc etc. So okay then I show you this one Cisco IOL uh, the image here doesn't matter at the end of the day, just a symbol, but you have to pay attention here under image. You have several images, or oh, in this case myself, I have uh, several images. Uh, this, of course, L2 means layer 2 switches, switches, switch layer 2, uh, router or switch layer 3, layer 3, layer 2, and again layer 3. So you have to pay attention when uh, when you select something here because of course if you want to make a switch uh, switching uh, lab switching you need to choose the right switch so for example layer two so otherwise it doesn't work so about uh, network I show you this one and after we'll come back to Docker Station network we have here. Uh, you can choose management uh, cloud zero by default if your uh, VMware workstation interface are nutted you will have the nutted IP like in my case I have no nutted IP so I will have my local IP address like in this case for this firewall management I got this interface my local IP address so I mean 192.168.0 or something then uh, again here network you have uh, cloud not instead then you will have another IP address nutted by by pinet lab then uh, will be in my case 10.0.137 dot something this is why it could be helpful for you because for example right in this case I have two interfaces one external for management <coughs> one is external for internet so if you're using uh, two little cloud here two cloud for of course both of their face you cannot have two IP address on the same subnet so this one will be uh, 192.168.0 this one cannot be 192.168.0 because otherwise it's, go to over, it's going to overlapping um, Docker Station, another question Docker Station, it works like this I get mad the first time with Docker Station but it's very very easy actually so here you under image you have to pay attention what you want to run for example it open automatically with Chrome that means when I'm open the Docker station I will see just Chrome uh, in this case I have a Linux desktop so means of course uh, Linux so I mean in this case Ubuntu this one is Ansible for example I try even to put on the docker station uh, 3cx is uh, for VoIP and even Kali 
so for example if I choose this one then uh, of course you can change this one if you want otherwise you leave as default then you can choose as you want you can put an static IP here or depends on your configuration you can tick uh, DHCP so primary console RDP that is very important so if you meet some issue to run the docker station just to remind you just click right uh, with the right button on the mice and uh, wipe so start and let's see if it works um, just a few few a few moment let's see if it's open the console If it doesn't work, like in this case, I mean it takes so long, just stop and wipe. Because sometimes can happen, so no panic. But this happen be that depends on the computer to be honest. Uh, <coughs> usually I don't I do have no problem. Let me uh, take another node. Docker Linux RDP save you see because it's my it's my VM uh, it's just low I mean it's sometimes happen especially when you see I'm losing the connection because uh, like in this case I have a lot of things open so the computer will will affect the you know the performance just wait a few seconds there will be it will be fine all right then so here just wipe okay and start again let's see if it works yeah okay then you see it started just double click or one click and open with rdp you just click uh, open rdp and connect then it will be like this you say okay of course and just wait <laughs> it depends how my uh, the ram how how many gig you got so my computer is only with 20 gig and an i7 uh, so it's not you know lots of ram but, but anyway it works so and you have a Ubuntu, then you can update, upgrade, or whatever you want to do it. So at this point, I think I gave you an uh, an overview about this one, uh, about Pinet Lab, and uh, again thanks to Pinet Lab teams to send, to contact me, and uh, and for you know this. Uh, uh, overview in English Th thank you Pinet Lab team then uh, you have uh, lots of things so the last uh, uh, thing uh, thingy then uh, you may know so with uh, this software it's very it's free to download so and everybody knows WinSCP you can uh, connect to your Pinet to your uh, uh, Pinet Lab station, so in this case it's mine. Then uh, Pinet. Then uh, once it's connected, you see. Then uh, you go here. here. So basically, you can upload the image if you want. For example, um, Riverbed as I did. So the the path is slash op. OPT unit lab and then you have uh, add-ons and then uh, dynamics or IOL or Q QEMU so and then you can upload here your image you can find the image uh, you know on internet or you can ask friends etc for example for myself uh, um, I'm going to show you 
So this is uh, all my image and uh, my disks, uh, my computer. Then uh, this is quite a lot of image. You see, I have even Windows Server, Windows Server, and Windows uh, 10, 8, 7, so uh, WLC as well. So I have uh, lots of image. For do that, you just need to obviously, obviously uh, copy and paste here with the, the folder have to match exactly so this is the folder name that have to be like this because otherwise will not work otherwise the the the, the platform in this case peanut lab will not recognize the the appliance you want to load then you need to open the console actually you don't need because peanut lab is pretty clever once you complete the copy you just go here close lab then go to system just set system setting and then you say fix permission you click here and that's all uh, another thingy uh, because we are here so uh, to uh, some users when they try to open the console uh, usually they get uh, patty but somebody can get the HTML console then uh, it's helpful but for example for myself it's not and I don't like it so you have to go here or in system system settings then you have to choose for example you want a native console or HTML console or even default language of course China and English that's all and this is up to you as you as you like uh, I think it's everything for now. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any comment, please uh, send me, leave me a message uh, below the video. And uh, at the last things, for anything you need, you can go on Telegram on Peanut Lab support. Then uh, it works very well. They are very helpful because I use it a few times i make a few questions and they always sorted the problem so thank you very much guys and uh, thank you for view